hello how you all doing it's been quite a while i know i know i know i've just been in such a very very busy place so today i'm going to be taking you all through the process of my turmeric cold process soap uh i've gotten quite a bit of orders and uh i said let me bring you guys through it right here is uh my olive oil and um uh castor oil and palm oil uh the refined palm oil yes that's what's inside here so let me wear my gloves and the oil that is here this one here is uh coconut oil infused coconut oil uh see i infuse some herbs in it i don't know if you all can see this i believe so okay um there's um bear berry there's rose rose um rose petals there's mulberry there's chamomile and there's calendula so those are the um botanicals <laughs> that are in there so i infuse them um, not for long though uh, I wish I could have done it for long but um, because I've gotten I had uh, this order so I had to do that quickly now the next thing is to wear my mask and of course to wear my gloves the thing is I can I can't find my gloves I don't know where I kept it so I'm gonna be using this one I found among my things so that's what i'm going to be using so i'm going to pour in um this infused oil yes into this bigger batch so how you all doing it's been a while what you what have you been up to uh i've been busy with work uh i got this job that i had to finish up but anyways I'm done with that so I think I have more time now to make more videos so I'm sure you guys are going to be seeing more videos yes I'm trying to scrape out all the oil so I don't leave out anything because I have it measured so everything if you're going to make a cold process soup everything needs to be measured so of course I've already mixed my um lye water and this is my turmeric uh powder that's what i'm going to be using then of course uh kaolin clay that's what i'll be using for this um batch that's basically all then uh i'm going to be using uh uh, this is uh, tangerine and those are essential oils tangerine and um, geranium essential oil so those are the essential oils I'm going to be using I'm trying to make it as um, as clean as possible you know healthy for the skin yes <laughs> okay is everything clear uh, okay let me bring you guys to the center okay that's awesome so let's pour in our lye water is lye uh lye is distilled water i'm sorry distilled water um what else is inside it lye that's sodium hydroxide and um sodium lactate to make the soap harder and moisturizing and brightening qualities oh wow that's it let's make sure everything is inside it <laughs> because if everything is not inside it there it would um mm, that's it so i'm trying to do all this mixing i don't want it to trace fast i want to see if i can do up like two colors 
So I'm going to split this batch into this container. Um, okay, I hope you guys can see that. Okay. It's, it's tilted a bit, but I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to... Okay, I think that's... I can't find another glove for this hand, so I'm, I think I'm just going to be using one hand all through <laughs> because this is um, using your bare hands can be very very it's going to burn you so if you're going to be trying this I'm going to put in, uh, my recipe down in the description box so you guys anybody that wants to try this can go ahead and do so okay so I'm going to add in my kaolin clay and of course I'm going to blend My kaolin clay is almost finished. Oh, see, it's like I've. <laughs> hey, it's almost finished. Sure, I will not come and pour the oats in there, any. <laughs> Abby. So I have my stick blender here. So I'm just going to put it. To make sure that well so what has been happening with you guys yeah sorry I lost the volume on my microphone <laughs> it was after I finished that's when I realized that my microphone was not working so right now I have to do a voiceover <laughs> voiceover for this uh, po portion of the video so right now I'm actually trying to see how to split um, to split this batch and make it like a double color or something like that but the idea I had in mind in my head I was thinking if I put just a bit of uh, the turmeric in one batch and put maybe like two teaspoon in another batch it would um, the colors would not be the same but in the end it didn't turn out like i thought maybe i should have added maybe white mica or something like that but i wanted to keep this as natural as possible but it's okay it's, it, it turned out to be like a plain batch of soup and look at me i over blended this that it thickened it thickened out on me so I had to really hurry up and pour it into the mold before the whole <laughs> the whole butter thickens up inside the bowl. Uh, this was the first batch. By the time I was going into the second batch, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, by the time I was going into the second batch, the butter in that other cup had thickened out. <coughs> And it was tough working with my hands, my wrist that was hurting me. And I, I think I pulled the tendon, I don't know. It was really tough. And of course, I was busy working with just one glove. So I was also trying to be careful so I don't get that, uh, that um, the soap butter on my fingers of the was it the left hand yes the left hand so this one look you, as you can see now it looks like the one I poured in it was a little bit um, lighter but later on it, it just it all blended together it, there was no difference no disparity whatsoever so it, it didn't turn out like I wanted so I had to uh, 
smack the the mold on the floor to remove all the bubbles so and I said I felt that this batch didn't thick in as much as so I said okay let me let me uh, blend it blend the essential oils in that I was pouring in so I think I over blended I had to use my left hand because my right hand was already pinning me so <sighs> but I had to do this for the people that needed this my clients or oh, they were really disturbing me for this one so I had to actually work on it there's no way I could just uh, keep posting them and posting them but anyways I eventually had it done well I thank God now I need to do more bars but <clears throat> I'm unable to do it because I'm trying to make sure that this wrist doesn't just give up on me so the leftovers from the first one if you notice it looks different but by the time I unmolded the next day it was different it was the same rather so I don't know <laughs> And of course, I decided to texture the top. Yeah. Okay, now uh, I'm trying to clean up all the sides and all that. And the next thing is to texture the top. I always like to texture my stuff my top let it not be uh, a plain bar and of course I had to tap it on the floor again to remove all the bubbles oh there's something so therapeutic about making soup I don't know I just love it sometimes I sit down and watch soup making videos for hours and of course this is the next day I'm trying to unmold it so as you can all see this soap is the same color <laughs> the same color but it's still going to do its work anyway and of course I decided to bring out my I've seen so many soap makers name their uh, their soap cutters. I don't even have an idea what to name this one. <laughs> I really don't know why they named them, but they always name them. Okay, so this one here, I'm trying to uh, straighten it to be sure everything is straightened and in a good place for me to cut it I hope you all enjoyed this um, soap making video as much as I enjoyed making it please be sure to subscribe um, like share and uh, and of course uh, in the description box I'll have the the recipe I'll have the recipe um, written down in case you want to try <laughs> in case you want to try it then of course I will also have my Instagram pages um, written out there so you could visit me on my Instagram follow me let's be friends and of course if you want the bars if you want that you can also send me a DM on my Instagram so don't forget be sure to like share subscribe and uh, drop a comment anything you want to know just give me it. so you see the colors there there's a little bit of a disparity but not so not as much as I thought it would uh, come out but all in all 
the turmeric soup came out all right okay bye bye guys see you next time i hope you enjoyed this don't forget subscribe share and like bye bye